What's up guys, Sal here. So the fan edition handsets from Samsung are in a weird spot lately. It started off really great with the massively popular S20 FE back in 2020, but Samsung messed up the S21 FE. For one, they launched it too late, just weeks before the S22's launch. Second, it didn't offer anything substantial over the S21 and the price didn't help it either. The result is a lackluster interest from consumers in the latest fan edition handset. And now with the Galaxy S22 FE, things are getting even weird because we may not see them launch the handset at all. You heard that right, rumors from South Korea mentioned that there is no development firmware for the S22 FE at all, nor any information about its application processor. Usually we get information about Samsung's unreleased products 8-10 to 10 months before the actual launch. For example, we already know the official codename for the Galaxy S23 Ultra which is almost 9 months away from getting launched. So the fact that there is no development yet for the S22 FE may indicate that Samsung has cancelled the lineup altogether. The situation is similar to the Galaxy Note 21. I mean a lack of firmware development is how we learned they cancelled the Note lineup. But in any case, I would still advise you to take this report with a bit of salt as Korean sources like this have been wrong before. But rest assured, I'll keep you posted. Samsung just announced its financial details for the first quarter of 2022 and the results are pretty impressive. The operating profit was 51% more compared to the same period last year. Their semiconductor chip division contributed the most. But most importantly, their device experience division, which includes their phone division, posted the highest revenue in 9 years since 2013. Samsung said the numbers are the results of strong sales of the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is great news for the company and for the Note fans. This basically means the Note form factor is here to stay. Overall, Samsung made $61 billion in revenue in 3 months. By the way, Samsung also mentioned that new foldables are coming in the second half of the year. Now, it will be interesting to see if we are gonna see the new rollable phone along with the Z Fold 4 and Flip 4. I guess we'll know soon enough. Now, we also have Android smartphone sales data for the month of February for 5G models from CounterPoint Research. And again, Samsung is dominating the list. The company occupied 5 positions in the top 10 list with A52s taking the top spot, closely followed by the S22 Ultra, S21 FE and A32 in the top 4. The rest positions are filled by the devices from Oppo, Xiaomi and Honor. Of course, for all the latest updates on smartphone tech, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.